Hi there my friends, I'm here to tell you how design tokens work in Penpot. So what are design tokens? You can find the tokens tab in the left panel of Penpot's workspace. Design tokens are a way of storing the smallest repeatable elements of your design so you can reuse them consistently across your projects and your teams. You might already be familiar with the concept of storing variables in code, or you might be into saving repeatable visual styles like Penpot's colors and typographies. Each token has a name and a value. It's that simple. Design tokens provide a single source of truth for your design decisions. You wanna update every background color at once? Just edit the background color token. Everyone on your team knows it's the background color because you've added design documentation to your designs through your design token names. Design tokens extend beyond just colors as well. Use them for radii, dimensions and sizing, opacity, spacing, strokes and rotation. This makes it easy to update hundreds of properties in seconds, while also making it simple to build up complex modes and themes like light and dark modes or different brand colors, as well as designing for different states and environments without having to create different mockups for each case. Token aliases and calculations help you create more consistent and scalable design systems. Editing one value can propagate changes across all of your designs without any other manual adjustments. Pempar has built the design tokens implementation in collaboration with the experts from Tokens Studio. Pempot is also the first platform to natively integrate the W3C's draft standard for design tokens. Using the standard means your tokens will be compatible with any other tool that supports design tokens. And the standard JSON format is easy to transform for other platforms, including front-end web frameworks and design system development tools. And if you're already using design tokens in your development process, it's possible to import your existing tokens into Pempot to give your design process a head start. You can add a design token into any of the token types in the tokens panel. Design token names can only contain letters and numbers separated by the dot character. Try to name your tokens in a way that's meaningful to you and your team so you can easily find the right token to use later. You can apply a design token by selecting the layer in the layers list or on the canvas and then right clicking the token to choose which property the value should be applied to. You can edit your design token values at any time by right clicking your token and editing it. And also reference other design tokens by including their token name inside curly brackets. For example, open bracket spacing dot XS close bracket times two to set that token as the XS spacing token multiplied by two. By default, your tokens will be added to a set named global. You can create more sets to group your tokens and enable and disable sets to create different combinations of tokens. For example, I can create the dark mode look from the global tokens, the dark tokens, and the right safe brand tokens. Penpot allows you to save your combination of token sets as themes. Each theme has a name and you can choose which sets are enabled as part of that theme. Then, you can easily switch between active themes with the switcher at the top of the tokens panel. For very complex designs, you can group themes. This makes it easier to switch between different combinations of themes. For example, the dark theme might belong to the color mode group and the white label theme belongs to the brand group. Enable these at the same time to see the white label and dark sets together. Design tokens are a very powerful tool that benefit both designers and developers and helps us speak a shared language. With a little time spent setting up tokens for your team and projects, you can really quickly get the benefits of a scalable and easily maintainable design system.